Back now, 841 with the ridiculously talented David Oyelowo. He dazzled as civil rights hero Martin Luther King in the critically acclaimed movie Selma. And in his new thriller, Captive, David plays an escaped killer who takes a woman hostage. Take a look. I gotta use the bathroom. Go for it. You use the bathroom. Everybody's gotta use the bathroom. The bathroom. We all gotta use the bathroom. Use the bathroom. Hey! What are you doing? I can't go with the door open. I, I, I turn around. I turn around. Well, I can't go with you standing there. I don't trust you, Ashley. I don't, I don't, I don't trust you, Ashley. Okay. David, good morning. It's good to see you. Thank you. We last remember you playing Dr. King, and now in your next two movies, you're playing the bad guy. Was that on purpose? Yeah. Well, I, I like to mix it up. Yeah. Um, and, and that's definitely the case here. But no, in playing Brian Nichols, even though, like you say, he's a guy who did some bad things, the amazing thing for me about that story is you have a murderer, and, and he took a meth addict hostage, and somehow good came out of it. It's an incredible story. I think yeah. a lot of our viewers are going to remember it. It's when we covered on the Today Show. It happened in Atlanta. Brian Nichols shot four people, yep. takes this woman hostage, and somehow she kind of gets him to turn himself in. What attracted you to this role? The fact that it was two broken people and, and, and as I say, a miraculous outcome. I mean, Ashley Smith has never touched meth since that night. She was captive to that drug and something about that night just switched something for her. It's, it's interesting because you, you want people to relate to your character. Mm. You don't exactly want to make him sympathetic. How do no. you balance that? Well, that was the tricky thing in playing him. I, I have no interest in exonerating Brian Nichols mm. for what he did. Did, but I do feel like he was an instrument for good on that night for Ashley Smith. There are people whose lives have been broken by what he did that day. But I'm, I'm a big believer in the fact that light shines brightest in the dark. Let's talk about Nightingale. It's another dark movie. Yes. And a little bit challenging, I would say, for viewers and certainly for its star, because you're basically <laughs> alone for the whole movie. Yeah, it was a, it was a challenge. And when I read the, the script, one of the reasons I, I did it, it was a dare to myself. I just thought, can you be the only person in a movie for 90 minutes? And here's the story of a, a, a veteran yeah. who kills his mother. Yes. And then you really just see the breakdown mm. right there on camera. Yeah, yeah. And that was the tricky thing. You know, he starts out having done this thing and then you have to sort of you know make him empathetic someone who the audience hopefully can relate to otherwise you won't stick for him for that long we got to end on a high note and I don't know if you're sick of telling this story but I think it is so funny when you were playing dr. King yeah. for Selma yes. I read that you stayed in character and tried to stick with the accent the whole time of shooting yeah and really drove your wife crazy <laughs> 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 well, you can imagine what it was like playing Peter Snowden in, in Nightingale, yeah, exactly. where I also stayed in character the whole time. With Peter, <laughs> Peter Snowden, I had to move out of the house. With, with Dr. King, yes, my wife felt like she was having an affair with Dr. King, which is a little strange. So she's like, pass the salt at dinner, and you're responding as... Well, can you uh, pass the salt? Uh, and, uh, and uh, yeah, she would just, stop, stop, I have to leave. When you're done, I will be back. Well, it's all, it's all for a good cause, David Oyelowo. It's a pleasure, pleasure Thank to have you, you here. Thank Thank you so much. Captive, by the way, opens on September 8th. Hello, Today fans. Thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking that button down there and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives.